YouTube, what is up? I am back up in this mother. Um, I'm feeling so refreshed, man. Straight after that uh, Atlanta trip, um, most definitely. Uh, I didn't even know like I was gonna be in that area. Uh, if you're familiar with that one YouTuber, popular now. Watch his, I watch his channel and everything. Um, his name Mike Rich. Fire reviews. Seemed like a down to earth dude. Um, I didn't know I was in his area of Atlanta when I had vacay uh, a few days ago. And uh, particularly, the only reason why I know that is because on his video, I see him leaving the Stonecrest Mall. And I had asked my girl, like, man, have we been there before? Like last year to Atlanta or whatever. But then um, this year, it just so happened, we happened to uh, be in that area, or my hotel. And uh, that whole, that that mall was like literally down the street, so on the Evan Mills Road, I think, or something like that. But um, yeah, I didn't see him or nothing like that. I did go to the mall like two or three times or whatever since I was down there. That Stonecrest uh, Mall. I'm already been to Lenox and the other ones down there. They okay. And uh, I'm surprised I didn't see any H and M's out there though. But they do got other like. Um, clothing streetwear stores and stuff like that and of course they got the jimmy jazz the finish lines and all the corporate uh, other corporate stores too so yeah but i did make some pickups though you know i could man i was trying to like be on a budget and like you know i, I did get some pickups from atlanta and stuff but um you know the funny thing about it is when you like get close to like going on a trip or something like that like Sometimes you hardly even bring, like, you bring a few new things or whatever, but then you start thinking, like, man, I got an excessive amount of shirts, or I got a, you know, it start being too many clothes for the many days, for as many days as you going to be there. So I was probably there for, like, three or four nights or something like that, so, but basically, they like, for the whole July 4th and all that stuff, so, and it, I had a cool time, but this is my pickups. I did hit a uh, Sears, Ross. Cause you know we ain't got no Ross up here in Cleveland, um, and Forever 21, and I'm starting to find myself shopping at Forever 21 more than H and M. So, <clears throat> first pickup is my T-shirt from Sears. Typical little little uh, you know, Freedom. Freedom American, yeah, Freedom American way, definitely. So, I, yo, I was wearing this like pulling off like a nice little uh, grunge look with this. Uh, I was wearing it up under this, like open, like how I got this shirt, and like you can see this T-shirt had this T-shirt on up under this red plaid like this. This is to me, this is like the best design they had there for this. Uh, it, it wasn't a lot of money that t-shirt was probably like five or six bucks so picked up on that fire shirt man and that's what I mean like once you start putting stuff together if you know how to shop man you you will be fitted you will be fresh um, just one more quick look at the shirt before I go on to the next one of course you got the flag in the background the three wolves um, I'm kind of an animal person. Uh, I like wolves, particularly, particularly, <laughs> particularly. You know, uh, by a brand called Five Star Size Medium. Fits okay on me. Was about to get a size small, but I didn't want to. You know, I'd rather it be big and then I can just shrink it as opposed to it just being like, you know, I'm looking like a Jimmy Dean sausage or something in it. Pause. <laughs> uh, next pickup is from Ross. Got this for $13.99. I didn't, I didn't want to spend as much on it, but I definitely been picking up on a lot of uh, graphic button ups this year. And I seen they had one, I wanted one like this at Forever 21. It's similar to my popsicle shirt, like this one. Like this first shirt that I had when I was reviewing my um, ice cream Sacconis. I wore this 
and uh, did it one foot with it. You remember Grey Joggers. It's in my videos. You can search for it to find it. Um, but also at Forever 21, they had this exact shirt. Uh, instead of this, like, this orange coral kind of like color with the popsicles, they had the popsicles on this kind of color. So I was like, oh, wow. I could still pull off this color, but don't have to, you know, get the popsicles and all that stuff. Because it's like, I did it once. I don't want to keep doing it again. Um, but on this graphic, uh, you got a lady jumping, pink flamingo. Um, you got one more thing. Oh, and a palm tree. So let me just take a s step back. You could just kind of look at it. Typical short sleeve button up. I like rolling up the sleeves for one for one quick cuff. You know. It look a little bit more formal to me, still like streetwear like, so I like it, love it. <sighs> Next up is my Forever 21 pickups. Um, I'm gonna do the basic stuff first, and then I'm gonna get down a little bit to more of the expensive, deeper stuff. Cause you know, even though I'm always looking for the clearance deal, I actually pay out of my pocket full retail for two pieces of clothes uh, for the pants and the shirt so but for this one um, these were actually on sale like an end of season sale at least one of the items this is the tank top uh, this was like their regular price like 380 or something like that just like you know why not just add this color to my arsenal you already know I got them other colors that's like you know soft and Easter like and you know what's that what they call that um, I wouldn't say full blown east. Oh, pastels. You know, it's like soft little pastel colors. But I want to get something more, you know, more more like masculine and you know, you can you could do something with the charcoal gray tank. This is size medium. Um, to me, I like mine's a, a little oversized because uh, I go to the gym and stuff like that. And when you get a little bit bigger, like I feel my chest getting bigger than it was like last year and stuff. You just want a bigger fit. You don't want it to be looking all like super tight. Unless you want that, that tight fit on purpose. But I kind of want my clothes to be uh, comfortable, loose fitting uh, as far as like the tanks go. So, Also got a regular red as I like to call it. I don't know if I should call this varsity red or whatever. It's not a bright red though. On camera it might look bright but that's just the way the lens pick it up. Same exact uh, from Forever 21, tank top, 380, uh, size medium, 21 men. Uh, same exact tank, just different color. Oh, 390 is the price for that. So you can get that stuff for like less than $8. But then you add on tax, probably be $8 and some change. But less than 10 you could. Uh, these were $17.90. Now these were the only deal I actually got on these. Um, these are... Uh, like jogger jogger shorts um, definitely um, I, I'm definitely an Andre Agassi uh, I, I like the way he dressed I don't want to say a head because I don't too much keep up with his games I haven't really been like looking at him or whatever I know they on YouTube and stuff but I definitely try to come around to checking that out but this definitely reminded me of Andre Agassi when he played tennis back uh, in the late 80s and early 90s and uh, he had those um, Nike Air Tech Challenge 2s on. Uh, this was actually like 30% off. So instead of paying $17.90, I paid like about like 12 or something like that. And uh, I feel like it was worth it, man. It's not my first pair of uh, like black uh, shorts. But I definitely wanted this because these was acid washed. Acid washed. So I can freak these with whatever. Do a little on-fit video. They also got the drawstring in the front. I definitely like uh, taking those risks and they actually got the little split at the side definitely something uh, you want to go pick up on at the store if you know how to get fitted and get yourself fitted correctly so back pocket on the back of course you got the pockets on the side and like I said a typical acid wash um, okay this just forever proves that this says uh, acid wash in like different languages so but Yep, that's my pickup with that one. Now, more on to like the expensive pickups. Uh, this right here, 
the joggers definitely I got compliments on these definitely a fire pants pant or a jogger but it has uh, like a jean material to it also got cuffs at the bottom of course it wouldn't be a jogger really if it didn't have that cuff um, and it wouldn't be a jogger really if it didn't have a drawstring as well um, I got these in a size 30 um, my, typical, my true true size is 31 but I still got a little bit of room in here because you know jogger stretch obviously um, but uh, this like I said I definitely got compliments on it and um, it's a nice Aztec Aztec print pocket on the back two pockets on the back because some joggers actually just come with one pocket for the wallet but you got two pockets on the back like regular pants uh, I think I ripped the price tag off these though but because I've been wearing these so wore these probably like less than five times already of course got the pockets on the side obviously I think these is probably like 25 bucks or something like that definitely a fire pickup man but um, I've already been breaking these in. I might have to wash these already. <laughs> um, this is something I haven't wore. This is my last part of this pickup for this video. And this is my 90s button up. Tell me what y'all guys think. I got a size medium. The price on this joint was... I think I ripped the price tag off already. But this was probably around like $20 or something like that. You know, I will be there the day Forever 21 drops the prices on all those button ups for like an end of season sale. And they all go for like $10. I had like $200 waiting to buy up all them button ups. Because a lot of they button ups are fire. And I've definitely been picking up a lot of button ups this year. Even this one I even have on. This one's from H&M though. I didn't want the red one because it looked like a tablecloth. But, um definitely been picking up a lot of button ups this year but back into this this kind of like a southwestern kind of like vibe but also still like a 90s kind of like vibe there's some you see like martin or one of his homies wear like cole or something like that definitely my style man i love this kind of print everything like it's always a toss-up i always try to do uh the process of elimination but now i'm at forever 21 picking up their button ups because like right now this season and stuff like that shit is fire like if you go to the store now uh, providing your forever 21 finally got a man section it's the most of the men button ups is fire but I don't want to keep y'all thanks for watching rate comment and subscribe if you want and remember man uh, well I guess I didn't show any kicks today but next video I'm gonna show some kicks I'm gonna just finish doing like a uh, review on my kicks or whatever cuz you never know man you got a hidden gym or something like that and you know you might end up helping a lot of people. Thanks for everybody that's been rate, comment, and subscribing. Uh, and also looking at that video, the Nike Hirachi uh, flight video with the black, the black one. That definitely, see that was one of them hitting gems. It's not a hype kick or nothing like that, but it's definitely getting a lot of views. So thank y'all for that. And uh, peace. Oh yeah, also follow me on uh, Twitter at Neil Goodfella. And I am out.